Picture this, it's 6 a.m. and your body awakens abruptly because it wants to punish you for eating that big bean burrito you had the day before. The sun hasn't risen, you still got sand in your eyes, and you've stumbled your way into the bathroom. From there, you take a seat and you begin to ask God for forgiveness as your stomach begins to twist and turn that excess waste out of your system. After five minutes, things begin to calm down, but your stomach still hurts. You know that feeling. That feeling of, uh, I think I got most of it out of my system, but I still don't really trust my body right now. Feels like I still gotta give something to this toilet. So you sit there and what do you do? You whip out your phone and you start scrolling on TikTok, of course. And first you get a comedy skit, and then you get a twerking video, and then you get financial advice and then you get a twerking video and then you get a gaming clip which is followed by a twerking video and then that's when TikTok decides to hit you with an ad but this isn't an ordinary ad this is an ad for a mobile naruto game and as someone who goes by the name hokage it was only right that i did my due diligence so i let the ad play and what i witnessed made my jaw drop i said to myself how is this legal Next thing you know, my frown taking the biggest dump Earth 1, 2, and 3 has ever seen turned into a smile as I knew I had discovered the potential for a new series idea. In my head, all I could hear is... So welcome to my new series that I'm calling, How Is That Legal? This is the series where I do a deep dive into any and all shady business practices going on in the gaming industry. I've seen so many terrible ads on TikTok that I thought it was time we start putting stuff on blast. Today, we're examining a title called Shippooten Ninja Legend. But before we do, first allow me to show you the ad that was shown to me on TikTok, and then we gonna compare that to what the actual game looked like. What are these usernames everywhere? It's just ugly UI. Disgusting. What are you looking at? Look I at will you. not be you at the future. Bro, Bro, a why shitty are you game? You are so high. The game just starts open. Mate, what is right? this? Because AI I recharged one dollar at the first beginning and got Madara at ten. Look at me, I'm stolen. That's it. New Naruto Yo, game. Log in for free Naruto. Who can turn into Ryan mode? Who can turn Ryan mode? Fucking. This part right here is what kills me too. Not only does this look like stolen assets from fucking Ninja Store, but then like right here, I'm pretty sure, maybe maybe this is a movie I missed or something, but I'm pretty sure this is not Naruto. I'm pretty sure this is Baruto footage, bro. I ain't never seen, who the fuck is he fighting? What is this shit, bro? You know what, as a bonus, I got I got, a, I got another one for you. This isn't this isn't Ninja Legends, but look at this shit that'd be on fucking TikTok, bro. Will you marry me? me? It's a shitty ring, so no. Whoa, it's the ring of the Eye of Dark Yes, I do. May I join you guys? Oh, boy. Yeah. I want to be stronger. What the fuck? How come they're all low grade? <laughs> Never this mind. Is... I'll collect them all. Somebody's looking at this like, yo, this shit is fucking cool. This shit is fucking cool. Hold on, I think I have one. Okay, from today forward, you are no longer allowed in Kanoa. Why? You've been playing for a week, and your power is only 2,000. Check yeah. out Naruto. Loser. He's only been playing for two days, and he already has more power than that. Sasuke, my power has imagine, already reached. Imagine, imagine worthless Sakura telling you, you should, your, your power level is too low. And what does this fit? It looks like he dressed as fucking Minato. It's 10,000. Get out of here. Just you wait. I'll call my bros over. His bros. Check it out. It's Madara Ichiha, top 10 in the server. Shout out to Madara Ichida, top 10 in the server. TikTok, ladies and gentlemen, TikTok. <laughs> What caught my eye in this ad was the blatant use of Naruto Ninja Storm gameplay. I'm like, there's no way anyone will fall for this foolishness. And the icing on the cake is the trailer ends with a link to the game. And right below the title, it says 2023 official licensed Naruto. So you're telling me you expect us to believe that Viz Media gave them the rights to utilize this beloved anime in their mobile game and Bandai Namco greenlit the use of Ninja Storm footage to trick people into believing that this is what Ninja Legends looks like? You're a liar! So now the only question that remains is, what truly is Ninja Legend Shippuden? And I began investigating. Lo and behold, guess what my Ambu Black Ops found? Surprise, Ninja Legend Shippuden looks nothing like the trailer. Instead, what you get is an auto chess clone set in the Naruto universe. And the worst part is, this is not even a good auto chess game. The fuckery starts right when you boot the game. Upon boot, you're met with a game called Hokage Legends. I said to myself, 
Hokage Legends? I thought I downloaded the wrong game. I'm sitting at my desk befuddled like, what the hell is this? It was only because some of the art was similar to the trailer that I realized I was playing the correct game. The fact this game has gone under multiple names makes me wonder if that's the case because they've been called out for false advertisement in the past. Whatever the case is, whatever this game is called, whether it's Ninja Legend or Hokage Legend, it's still ass. It starts with the visuals. It's obvious they stole visuals from several different places because there's no synergy in the game's visuals. The hub world looks like an engage game. The combat looks like a cheap flash game off of Newgrounds. And the character models on the start menu, as well as the upgrade menus, are clearly ripped from Naruto Ninja Storm. I don't even know why there is a hub world. Upon logging in, you're assigned a username and you can see other usernames running around the world. The problem is, at least from my experience, you can't interact with anyone. You can't battle them either, so what's the point? It makes me think that they're just bots running around the servers to fool the children who downloaded this game into thinking they're getting this huge online immersive experience. It is somewhat impressive that they managed to create this hub world on what's obviously a tight budget, but you can't explore any of the buildings it's all smoke and mirrors there's also an overuse of anti-aliasing which is just a fancy word for sharpening for those of you unaware it doesn't matter how sharp you make the game if the textures don't look good think of it this way it's like putting makeup on a pig you can put makeup on a pig but that don't change the fact that that's still your mama was that necessary moving on to combat the game pretty much plays itself seeing as it's an auto chess game the game gives you the option to run it in manual semi-auto and auto mode there's also an option to double the the speed of the fights if that's your thing. I couldn't tell you the difference between semi-auto and auto mode and truth be told the only difference between manual and those other two modes is in manual you have to click the character's face to activate their special move when it's available. Winning battles comes down to making sure you utilize your resources after every fight to upgrade your fighters. That's about it. If I'm being totally fair it's an auto chess game. It's fairly difficult to fuck up an auto chess game. The problem with this one is, is it does nothing new. The only real highlight in the combat is there are giant versions versions of enemies that appear. If you progress the story far enough, eventually giant versions of enemies will appear as if a Pokemon trainer just stuck a mega evolution stone up their ass. The result is they attacks are slightly stronger and they have more health. This is only a highlight for me because I couldn't get over how stupid the concept was. I bursted out laughing the first time I saw a giant generic rogue ninja spawn. Giants would have made more sense in the context of Choji's clan, seeing as that's what his family is known for, but utilizing nuance would require effort and we can't can't expect that from a shitty mobile game false advertising all over TikTok. If you're wondering how the story plays, don't get your hopes up. If you click the main story button, it's gonna force you to run in the direction of the nearest enemy and you start a fight. There is no actual story. I have a sneaky suspicion that the game lacks a story because the game's development was more focused on trying to make money. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to break it to you, but this is a gotcha game. If you're not familiar with gotcha games, think of Tower of Fantasy or the wildly popular Genshin Impact. I opened the store once and I was bombarded with all different types of things to buy. You could buy new ninjas for your party, boosts, and their premium membership that they're referring to as Joning Privilege. Now we've all heard of white privilege, shit, pretty privilege, but Joning privilege? What is that? You would think that means having a spot in the back of the platoon reserved for you when the next great ninja war breaks out so you don't die first, but nope, it's just a bundle of worthless boosts that slightly improve your chances of winning in what's already an easy game. My one highlight with my time spent in the story is when I drew a rare Zabuza card. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know the significance that Zabuza plays on this channel. I got the big Zabuza. Oh my God, bro. The jokes write themselves, man. If you've been watching me for the longest, you know who Zabuza is to this channel, man. Fucking the goat. Fucking the man who taught Naruto his ninja way. The man who, who Naruto, Naruto said he would be nobody without. The big BBC blade. The demon of the mist. Giving your bitch a kiss. Fuck with me. 
Big draw. I just wanted to make a Zabuza joke. Sue me. Although I did find it funny that this was my first rare ninja that I unlocked for the party. But in all honesty, I'm grasping for straws here. This game sucks. It's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's literally no depth to this game outside the fact that you can equip clothing items to your ninjas to make them stronger. But even still, that's not deep. There's no reason to play this game unless you're a struggling YouTuber seeking to earn more watch time for his channel. I'm sure some of you have seen this ad before or something similar to it. It, so hopefully I can be the last defense against you wasting your time. A beacon of hope, if you will. If you like this series idea, provide me some feedback in the comment section below. If you've seen any sketchy mobile game ads you think I should do a video on, feel free to share that in the comment section below as well. If you don't like all this negative stuff and you want to see a video about games actually worth playing, then I'll leave a link in the description box below to two previous videos of mine. My high on life review and my most anticipated games of 2023 video. If you don't have time to check out those videos and you're heading out, then do me a favor before you do. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Your support helps push my content more in the algorithm and I could really use your help. Last but not least, if you're really trying to help, I'm calling all my ballers out there. Consider financially supporting this channel by leaving a super thanks or becoming a member. Click the join button below the video player and check out all the cool perks I have to offer to all my ninjas out there helping keep the lights on in the village. I want to thank you for checking out my content. I'm the Black Hokage aka TBH and to be honest, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.